Oh, so long of it, doesn't it? No mahogany. For you standing up now, Tom? Uh, standing up with uh, the mahogany. Works a kind of what he does, not like. What color stain is mahogany stain? Uh, or is that. Uh, I mix that. Uh, you mix that stain. The brown sort of base stain that uh, works. <coughs> for these type of chairs, you know. Yeah. And this yeah. is part of a uh, set of four, like, so we have to pour the same color, you know. So I was lost. Um, Amazing, I was able to remember where that was. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you know with yourself and everything, you might come from, you're going to bother them and find it. See, years ago, the dark color was on. Apparently, there's still a lot of my hugging and use, but I can't figure out what they're doing. Because, you know, the light colored wood is more. Mm -hmm. the ah, it's more. Color, you know. But I was just telling you one of the boys in the Congress the other day, and they're still selling the loads over my hug. They must be using it for something, Tom. I was amazed at that, you know. There's all this, uh, pretty heavy in the man. You put that on with a cloth or a brush. Here's the thing I didn't know, Tom. I looked it up for the, the they make guitars with the mahogany as well. Real good guitars, like. They would use mahogany and different woods and guitars. Um, it's all to do with the sound box and things like that, you can tell, you know. You can see this is fairly dark, but this is the, the way that it works, so you're trying to sort of stick with that steam, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's not a time to change timbers or change cores, you know. Yeah. See, the thing is, I like about the bus, you can go and you don't, and you must have you just go back over it again, you know. This professional stain, yeah. and then I spray this chair with cell loose type of thing. But it, it actually works well. But years ago I remember making furniture, and I made a grand job of the junior work on a complete hash of the finishing. Uh -huh. Because we hadn't got the right stuff. Well, and in them days it was dark well, light stain. And the dark light stain went here is black. And that, I think it's a core of cotton. So this dark line steel is very common, you know. And uh, in all honesty, they've improved a bit. The, the chemist has done a grand job with uh, the finishes now, you know. It's easier to, but hey, you know, it's all part of the, the time. And I remember a case of a wardrobe years ago where I was cutting a big long wardrobe and it was an eight foot meter was on it and I got it, the difficulty I got it done and I'd come to tea time and I went out to get my tea out in the garage and lo and behold never come back in, somebody had used the two bits of the wardrobe for a, a table. And proceeded to take the tea off it. And then they spilled, they spilled, they spilled the tea on top of the mahogany. Oh, no. Right? And then they panicked. And, you know, it's like if you, if you throw it around with a wee taste like that there, but they had a big rum and they lifted the sheet and like a big spider there. And like it was, you know, a huge spider like it had been running on it. You'd have been nice and happy there, Tom. Well, what it done was, I thought, oh my God, look at this now. I'm going to have to go and cut another meter and as well as a waste of time and stuff. You know, where they've been in trouble, you know. So, what I was doing, I'm about to put on the teapot again. And I knew from a wee bit of story that I'd done, I, I wasn't that well educated on it, but I knew that they used sugar in the manufacture of steams at that time. So, I made a very strong pot of tea, fired it with half a bag of sugar on it, and the boy said I had lost my mind. And uh, proceeded then, <laughs> went on, give the whole mahogany panels, brushed it on, and the mark was gone. It was just a wee shade of a different colour, you know. You know, and I met a man years later, he's still was chatting about it, you know, because I said, oh, that's the most, that was the way he asked to bring in the brand, you know. That's the way he asked to bring up the you brand. Know? And then it was just a funny, it was better and better and better, you know. And I know I'm just slapping it on, but that's what I like about that, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to be, 
so I can, you know, go on the gadget, just you know, play it on, you can rub after that chair for me, you know, but it is professional, stop like, you know, look at that, isn't that lovely, like, you know. Well, that brings up the stand, yeah, you know, and then, brings up the... it, it also works with you, you know, drinks it well, like, you know. Soaks yeah, it into the wood. Uh, yeah. The wood is like a sponge too, Tom, isn't it? Like, well, that's, see, that's you know a, what I mean? This is very kiln dried timber, you know. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's not uh, in any way damp or nothing, you know. How many tea yeah. bags did you use that day, Tom, to sort it oh, out? Oh, that day there was no. That was the days when there was no tea bags, there was loose tea. <laughs> yeah. we were, that was uh, a good strong brew, Oh, well, it was a very strong brew, you know. But after getting the tea break, the boys couldn't understand what I was doing, but they had not fancy cutting an oil it for a long either. I can tell you, it must have took me about an hour and a half to get it right, you know. And I had it all perfect. So now I'm about to give me tea there when done. <laughs> so it turned out grand, you know. Oh, God. I see you now, Tom, you'd have been in good form when you've seen this. No, I kept, me, I kept my head. If you keep your head, you know, it's what you do enough you're in a home, you know, how you react to these things. These things are all part of the the learning curve. See where that game's coming up there. Huh? See, it's beautiful. You know. Hey, that stain has really brought up the, uh -huh, the grain. It's it's it. Where am I here? Did you get end up legged? There's a word for that, isn't it? Legged? Legged. <laughs> that's a, a Northern Irish yeah, one. That's Tom. definitely a Northern Irish one. It's a county one. Is that right? Mm -hmm. is is another one is Cubs, oh. Cubs and Cuddies. Oh, well, they're not the Scots, no. I don't. It's kind of. A, it is a kind of a mixture of Scots and Irish. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Ah, I can you. always see that back in us. <laughs> don't worry, I would've. I would've seen it around. Yeah. But there's some sayings up here, Tom. You know what I mean? I, I used to. I, I'd be trying to understand them. Now you, 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 you landed in Myers or something. Oh, I've just stopped. You know. I know. So coming out with words like shucks and yeah, shucks, <laughs> that's another one I couldn't understand. It's a half American, isn't it? Cowboy for him. <laughs> shook. It does shook. I said, what the, what's a shook? Ah, <laughs> oh, but then could I? You know what I mean? Into the road, I? Yeah, yeah. Ah, that could be also Scots, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're, we're a kind of a mixed mate. Yeah. But um, uh, the, 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 the one that always comes to mind to me, and it's an old one, uh, porridge, stir about. Stir about? <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's what you do. Yeah, right. You store it about, like, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I mean, my mother and all put on the store about, you know, you know, and you think, and you, you couldn't buy it, you know, you couldn't buy a packet saying store about, you know what I mean? <laughs> so getting all to the porridge. If I get, you know, it's a good basic say what you see and be what you be, and, you know what I mean? Like, the modern world is different, you know, they wouldn't use the word now like store about. Different dialects, different, different, different words. No? That's what I mean. Yeah, different parts of the country, different all their own, no? all bits of same. Like, uh, like in making chairs, like making chairs in this day and age, like it's, you know, nobody's doing it. Yeah, yeah. I've even made first class cabinet makers from England, and they wouldn't touch it, you know, because you can't even make money at it. Yeah, you can make yeah. nice stuff. You can have fun making it. You can, you know, but I'm not chatting. Like a, I mean, a young fella, like, you know, not meaning anything bad, but he's telling me he made a chair last night, and I said, good God, did you really, you know? I was impressed. I've all seen the chair. They nailed it together. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there were no giants, no nothing. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, do you really want somebody to carry on a chair and nail together with the nails showing mm. them? You know, it's not uh, what you can set your child on, is it, you know? No, it is not. Like, um, you know, it's a different, but it sounded very good. If I did you uh, do an interview, you made a chair last night. <laughs> you know, there's a, an old chap in England years and years ago, and uh, he would make a chair in a day, but it was a wounded chair. And he reckoned that if, unless you were singing as you walked, it was no good. Is that right? You know, well, yes. you know, that's a good Maybe it's a it. point. Well, what he meant was he loved it and he was happy doing it. And I'm sure he wasn't making much money at it, you know. But he, he sang as he worked, and he reckoned the lesser he sang, it's no good. In other words, if you're happy at your work, you know, it's a lot too, like, you know. It's, 
sustain you in the darker moments. The setbacks maybe as well, you know. But um, it's not really a slow hammer, is it? When you when you slap it on one. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's not. Are you going to put the? Oh, hi, the wee, the wee. Yep, that wouldn't be wood worm, would it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. That's oh, his comrade there, the old one. I'll put them on and I'll do them by hand, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, I would have probably got to maybe not put them on and think about it, you know. Like, but they were on the other chairs, so I'll do them, you know. They're not that bad. It's staying brought up, lovely, but in this. Ah, they're staying. Like you say, they're never spread. And God bless. All the best. See you later. I never uh, had the, the finish yet, you know. Now, hold on, I have to get some more skin. Just one me second because I have to knock some more. It's all in the gym. See, the thing is, you get, you get about six different cores. No, that's nice. That's the wee comrade of it there, that's the old one. You get to make it the same full, as that. Full of woodworm. Full of woodworm, right. So you had to, you just uh, took that for to. It's only just a template, right? Uh, template. And like you change very right, little, you. Yeah. For the sake of, you know. It was a four wee chapel or something, Tom. It's a wee church. Yeah, yeah a wee church, yeah. But then, but it's, you have to change a wee bit here and there, you know. But now uh, you don't change. Is that the stain there, no, Tom? That's the stain, right? Oh, right, And uh, you get about six different colours of the stain. Mm. But they all come on the head in a brown. Right. You know. Aye, but different shades, I suppose. Well, this is where it goes a wee bit complicated. Brown, uh, uh, but a red, but it's a very flat, professional stain, you know. It doesn't play you up with, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I'm going to see... I'll tell you one thing, it brings up a beautiful grain in it, doesn't it? It brings oh, really out oh, the grain. Like, oh, yeah. I taught that mahogany, now. I was looking at mahogany and thinking that's uh, it's very bland mm -hmm. looking, do you know what I mean? Very, um, mm -hmm. but you see, when you see the stain, that's a different ball game. Oh, awesome. You, you do must have a wee bit here and there, but you just go back to it. It's not there in the world. The main thing because the timbers are dry. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember making a cabinet. Uh, I can't remember long ago it was, but you see, it was probably 50 years ago. And I bought a cabinet under a house for a family. And on them days, he landed with a lot of tools. And no fire tools, all hand tools, you know. Yeah. And, uh, the saws were sharp, and the chuffers were sharp, and the planes were sharp, everything was, you know, strange, like, you know, looking at it now, you know, just, now it's all poor, and, well, not with me, but with a lot of people, it's all poor, you know, but if you're working and you can listen to the radio as you work, you're not that much poor involved, now, if you're using a big machine, you can't listen to the radio, you know, yeah, yeah. and you can't sing along with the, with the music. Now, the reason you have the radio on is that the way the, sing, the singing would work wouldn't be that good, you see, so the radio get the blame. <laughs> 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 but the point is, uh, I remember making this cabinet in the house, and I had no way of working at all, you know, and uh, I never come to a finish. I wouldn't use the old dark stain for coffins and stuff. And, uh, that's, it doesn't work in the past, so I'm not going to use it. You know. So, what I done was, the wood wasn't that... Superior other. I polished mm -hmm. up the cabinet with brown boot polish. <laughs> and then I varnished all the tabbies. Right. And it actually looked lovely, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to tell people what they put on it, you know, it didn't sound good, you know. <laughs> you know. But, uh, you know, I just didn't want to go for the stage. Tom, you did a lot of experimenting, I'd say, in your day, did you? Oh, I loved it. I, yeah. I, you know, I loved uh, the experiment. I wouldn't have been so damn but it went wrong, but it didn't go wrong, you know. It seemed to work out, you know, mostly, you know. But you know, you'd know where we were you know, you were trying to make a wonder, maybe crawling around the front lawn, you know, you know, yeah. no bench, no nothing, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you were in a very bad way of going with, and you still glad you did, you know. The grain's coming out nice. Maybe went to, uh, Let's see Seattle. It. Let's see that. Maybe went to a strange village or something, you know, close at hand, made a wonder, and you didn't charge much, and the boy... Maybe then, I never come to a pen, you'd say, uh, say much as that, and you'd say, oh, I could have three pounds. And you'd say, if you don't need three pounds, I'd give you two. <laughs> 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 you'd come away thinking, uh, you know, 
Het was wel een waar. Maar het was al vaak op lijn in het weer, you know. Maar ik ging ze nog altijd voor het uit. Een jongen van dat jaar, dat weet ik nog. Ik weet nog dat ik aan mijn heel een leer pijp. Dat was een probleem, you know. De hele leer pijp. Wel, als herde daarvan mee, weet ik wel. Ja, dan we hebben we gedaan, maar dat paal op hem had een leer pijp, you know. En dan, maar nu ben ik nog een zin, nog een nieuwe dingen weer, you know. Maar dat was pas nog een leer boxes van dat voor ting, you know. Ja, ja. You were just always into this game, too. I loved it. But my mother, she would say, you know, I was charging half a crown, which is, what was that, new money? Two and six, and old money. That was the only thing, right? But the hammer doesn't have new money. It's probably the 12th day or something, right? And she would meet him. My mother says, if it's an old person, don't take any money after him. Right. And I said, all right. But we were mostly more old people. We were putting on leather boxes and then you'd see this sort of, you know, and one old man, he is, he looked ancient, you know, he was probably 60, you know, and uh, he looked, he looked a lot older, you know. So my mother had told me this, so I said, now, he says, how much do you charge, you know, and I said, uh, two and six, John, but two, none of my mind clicked and they don't pick it off them, you know, if they're old, you know. So I give him back a two and six, but he was that old and that groggy. I slipped it under his pocket, and he probably didn't even know he got it. And he probably thought that John Campbell boy has robbed me, you know. <laughs> but I had no money at all. Made it out of you know. And I saved up, and I would uh, try and buy tools for my money. And I would walk to the town, which is three miles away. And uh, if the weather was good, that was fine, lovely walk. But if the weather was wet, and I had to get the bus. My half crown would shrink, or if I bought sweets or anything, my half crown would shrink. And whatever I was trying to buy was always out of reach, you know. I had some yeah. money, but never, maybe the full. Never full enough. Of. Well, you know, was, did you see what do you do, you know? And now I'm out of age now, you know, you think to yourself, what was that about, you know? I think it was crazy where, and I was mad to get at it, and I loved it. And I don't work for nothing, you know. Yeah. Uh, you just know, to learn the trade, just, just to learn, learn the trade. Just to learn, you know. And anybody that I met that knew anything about it, they, you know, I used them as an instruction manual or something, you know. Mm -hmm. They become an instructor and everything they told you and under your head, you thought, wow, you know. People told me, yeah, so, you know. Yeah. People would say, ah, I've done this and I've done that, and that's just like little years of discovery. It's easy to tell a young fella a yeah, young, you know. Yeah, yeah. Until he turns up and maybe half ten at night, back in your door down, and then they ask you something that you can't answer. <laughs> I've done that, you know. <laughs> yeah. Mine came in a, a, a Queen Anne lake, and I got it, it was about a cherry wood, you know, and I got it fairly well, you know. And then I thought, oh, goodness, I had somebody now to tell me. Cause I, didn't, I didn't know, you know, if I was right or wrong. Mm -hmm. There's me. There's Is the clock, clock interrupting us again, Tom? No, nah, it's full interrupting. And it's Tom's old clock. But the thing is, uh, this man had told me that he cared for Queen Anne Lake, you know, and I was very impressed. So about a half ten at night I landed at the house, and I said, yeah, could you possibly tell me, Sam, you know, where I'm going wrong or if I'm going right, because a, a wee bit of instruction here would be good, you know. And he hadn't a clue what I was chatting about, you know. Sorry. But he told me in an area. Ah, I don't you really. he done all this, but he never thought that I would land. With a bit of Queen Anne Lee. I was hoping that Brian would swallow me up because I, I could see I'd put him in a very bad place, you know. So you can tell he don't follow anything, but yeah. I guess he might be listening when you're not. Ah, I don't you really. know. You know, but I mean, I did master the Queen Anne Lee from the end and made a lot of them. But, I, you know, you don't want to make people feel he never thought that I would, you know. Arrive on <laughs> with Queen Anne Lake. You know, Queen Anne Lake you had done in your hand. You, ta hand you tackled it? You follow. You follow, get up and go and, you know, trying to figure out right where you're going wrong, you know. And I had walked maybe half a mile to the village, you know. But, you know, I'd put him in a spot. Or he'd put himself in a spot. With the well, he did, really. You know? That's why they say the truth will set you free. You better tell the truth because they'll have to come back and bite you. I was really impressed with him. Tell me that, you know. 
Are you living in on on living in on a street, you know, street tail living line, you know, you know. And the only thing that I've learned that's really important is that you approach everything and be honest about it. And if you do your best, it might be that good that time, but if you persevere and persevere eventually you won't get it, you know. But you're gonna have to work at it, you know. You really have to make mistakes. You want to, you want to, uh, you really have to hunger for it. Yeah, you, you passion, want, you, you know? really want something. If you really oh, want you something. To, you have to sort of immerse yourself in it and seek it and want it so bad that, you know, you have to, your hands just to burn for it, you know. Guess where I was? I was walking from here to the town, three miles, dreaming of cutting joints. And now, you know, I'm thinking to myself, what kind of madness was that, you know? But it was harmless to you. It was mm -hmm. simple, you know, you know what I mean? You know, and in the woodwork room. See, if you find someone that you can do, maybe be content that you find someone, you know, that suits you, you know? And the work makes friends all over the world, you know? This is the thing, you know? It's not about trying to buy people or own people or control people, but, you, you know, you meet people in the work, and the attitude, and you know, every turn round, not every day, but I got a a person a day, like, and we were chatting about that, you know, and if you love what you do, it's, it's a lot easier, you know. Like, if you hate what you do, it's no No, 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 no. Life's too short, you know. But there is people in their trap, you know, and it's sad, like. And the whole thing about it is, you know, I got to save my time twice. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I was... Ten years younger, I'll try it again. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> the point of it is, I served my time in different aspects, twice, you know. And, like, I don't regret any part of it, even the awkward bits, even the painful bits. Yeah. And, uh, like, nobody wants to fall down. If, maybe if a balloon and hurt themselves, you know, that's, that's not what I mean. Like, uh, you do suffer these things like that, but hopefully, you know, not too badly. There's people who've come out of it very bad right now. But at the same time, everything's a learning curve, and the people you meet, and maybe people are sent to you too, like, you know, that you need or something, you know, when you need them. Mm -hmm. Maybe, you know, maybe there's someone in that, you know. Yeah. Like, it's hard to, you know, I'd believe that, you know. The universe are guilty as well, you know. It's all about give and take, but Tom, and like, it's all, uh, but you know what I mean, you know, I guess. You only get out of things what you put on to. Yeah, well, that's another you way of looking at you. Yeah. You know, you have to make an effort, and you have to keep making an effort. You know that joke, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice, 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 you know. Mm. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and somebody says one thing, the more I practice, the better I seem to get, you know. <laughs> like, when you think about it, but like, you know, meeting people and having a crack and having fun with them too, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I, I've met some strange characters, you know. You meet some funny people too, That's Tom, you know what I mean? Of, some, you get some you laughs know, and, uh, from people as well. You meet all sorts of characters. I know, like, complete nonsense, you know, but it's yeah, funny, you know. It's very funny, yeah. You know, and you know what, it's a very Irish thing, that humour. Turning dark humour, like a disaster, into something funny. <laughs> do, you know what I mean? do you know what I mean? Like, I think if the others have to laugh, or you, you cry. Yeah, if you yeah, cry, yeah. you cry alone, you know. Yeah. But the other thing about it is... You know, I would believe that, that if you put out positivity, positivity will come back to you. If oh, you definitely. put out negativity... Ah, definitely. You, you know, know, look, Tom, does not, you know yourself, if you meet somebody that's negative all the time, it kind of fucking... <laughs> excuse <laughs> my French sake, like, but it, it rubs off on you, doesn't it? Like, well, or it, it brings you down some bit. Well, somebody says one time, they're energy vampires, you know. Yeah. They bring yeah. you down. And yeah. Then they move on merrily to the next... Yeah, person. it's the next you victim. Know, and you, you're lying there thinking, you know, and then everybody's battling something, you know. Yeah. And in the world now, at this present time, you know, our ancestors had something that we don't seem to have. They had contentment. Yeah. You know, like your granny and granda hadn't got much in the line of money, but they could sit content with a ticket of clock. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And, you know, they weren't on top of the world by any means, health wage or any other you know. But Tom, um, once say you no, know, oh, we'd always the door open and, uh, you know what I mean, that's that's years right. ago. But they, right. people, neighbours would have come in oh. and they'd have had a cup of tea and a bit of cake bread. 
Like, know. you know what I mean? And that's the way people were. I know. And, and you know, people want no young lads would wonder about that today, but they're not come in and take anything, everything you had. You had nothing to take. See, there's nothing. Do you know, know what I mean? There's a, there's a thing as well. Like, uh, uh, yeah, but, you know, Whatever bits uh, and pieces you had. But why would you steal if somebody would give it to you? Exactly, yeah, yeah, You know, yeah, that's a waste I, of energy. I think the know? old people's mindset was different anyway. I know, but you I mean, know what I mean? You know, like, I remember in this area here, you know, like, it, it, there was a woman in Cheda Bicycle, and she headed off to a local town, and she went round the doors, not everybody's doors, but there weren't that many houses about like there, you know, it wasn't in the state or anything, you know. And she said, you want about a month's married, you want about a, I'm going to the butchers, and she'd come back with wee parcels of meat tied onto her bicycle. Yeah, yeah. And now you give her the money for it, she didn't buy them for you, but I mean, yeah. she, she bought them and come back, and then you squared her up for whatever lock of dog it was, you know. But the thing is, you know, she didn't just drive to the town and not think about the neighbours. That's right, yeah. Her first yeah, thought yeah. was, I'm going to the butchers. Community thing? Yes. Yeah. It was a yeah. community thing when there was no community. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and people shared more, you know. But that's what I'm saying. I remember people, you know, neighbours, and they come in for maybe a cup of sugar, or you'd get a couple of tea bags, or, uh, you know what I mean? Or not tea bags, but tea. No, you know, no. loose tea or a drop of milk, or and they'd come and ask you for something, and that's the way people went on. Like. There was a case I heard not so long ago, somebody was telling me, I can't remember who it was, and well, well, let's say who it was, I mean, but they, they, not, they hadn't got no great money and they hadn't got no great anything, but then they tend to get visitors to park their neighbour's house, and they had a wee bit more, maybe, so they had a cake, and they'd borrow the cake and they'd set the cake on the table, but they never cut the cake. <laughs> you know, that's so mad, isn't it? You know, that's mad. Yeah, yeah it's totally mad. You know, but they're letting on the cake. The cake was for show. Sure. <laughs> yeah, the cake was show. Sure. You know, but I mean, you know, like we're here a hundred years in this house, right? and uh, somebody says to me, "Well, I don't look bad for a hundred, you know." But I mean, it wasn't actually me. It was my grandfather who would come here. But yeah. um, the thing is. There's a few neighbours, I think there's three or four neighbours that can place themselves back out along, you know, 100 mm -hmm. years, and the rest are blow ones. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I feel like a blow on myself right now, you know. <laughs> but uh, it's all part of the, the scheme of things. Anybody that doesn't have that, I'm not sure. It's lovely, isn't yeah, it? If it dries off now, you want, yeah. and then we'll get a couple of coats on it. You get another second coat now? Uh, like for handiness and cheapness, I spray this. But no. the right thing to do with the French pot. What, what did you spray it with no time? Well, I spray it with pre catalyzed lacquer, you know. Right, yeah, Just yeah. because I have other things to do. Yeah. And, but I could French polish it, and French polishing it would be a different thing. But yeah. then I didn't French polish the other chairs, so I have to. Yeah, you have to, uh, have, to keep it right. Have these new boys to cut I'll tell you, you a nice job with it now. And, uh, yeah, well, but, you know. Lovely. I have other chairs to make, and, you know, they're different and so on, you know. That'll dry on that'll dry on the night, you know, I'll have you put a coat in that tonight, but I have you do a bit of turn on the night. Yeah. I've got to do a bit of turn on the Oh yes, yes. Uh, uh, it's hard to water what is it? Uh, uh, it's uh, it's really end up like an acorn. An acorn, sorry. Excited, you know? That's mad. <laughs> you know? Some size too. Well Tom we call it a day for day, aren't we? Say, t uh, say goodbye and Thank you. thanks for everybody and uh, like and subscribe and if you don't like so you know what to do. <laughs> Thanks okay. a lot. We won't take it to hell. No, we won't take it to hell. God bless. <laughs> bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.